I even remember how to do this? How do I press that? Okay. First off, I want to apologize for the really bad audio. It is echoey in here. Um, I tried to put up some foam shit, and they all just fell down. So I don't, I don't really know what to do. I do have a mic still, but I just didn't really feel like doing all that. Just wanted to post a quick update video. Um, it's like my 50, 50th update video on this channel. It's like half the channel is update videos, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but I'm in a new place. Um, I got my own apartment now. Um, it's really exciting, actually, as you can see. My room is completely different. Um, got my desk here. I have been moved in for about a month now. And every single time I get ready to pick up the camera, I'm like, nah, I'll just do it tomorrow. Nah, I'll just do it next week. Been procrastinating pretty bad. Um, I've been really focused on other things this year. This being one of the main things. Just trying to get out on my feet. Um, become the man that I want to be, you know. And after a lot of time, I'm finally here. And I think I'm ready to start uploading again. Um, now, as far as what I'm going to upload, I'm really not sure. Um, I think that I'm going to keep that second channel where I post playthroughs. I think that will be my playthrough channel from now on so there probably will be videos coming over there because those i'm probably not going to put a face cam and as crazy as it sounds a face cam requires a lot of fucking effort <laughs> unfortunately and it's mainly because of this right here the lights i gotta dim this shit if i'm doing a playthrough i can just put my voice on there so you guys can enjoy the game and whatever commentary I got going on, you know. So as far as this channel, um, it's going to be a melting pot of stuff, honestly. Um, I will probably start vlogging since I'm, I said I was going to start vlogging once I got my own apartment. I have a pretty big ass apartment. It's pretty empty at the moment. I have a couch, a TV. That's about it. <laughs> I have a kitchen, pretty small kitchen, but it's a kitchen. Um, empty dining room, empty living room besides the couch and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll probably give you guys a tour eventually. Um, I mean, for the most part, uh, I can actually pick this up, forgot about that. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I don't really want to show too much because my room's not like the best. I mean, okay, I got some Chick-fil-A. All right, all right there's some, some Chick-fil-A right there. So let's just get that out the way. Um, but there's that. Um, this is what I'm working with right now. The foam things. I can't even see the camera. Hold up. Hold up. The foam things. I had them all up, all organized. It was all nice, nice and neat. And they all fell on the ground after like an hour. And then <laughs> as soon as I was like, hey fam, we gonna be able to have some nice sound and stuff. Sour Patch Kids. Um, yeah, this is, it just, it, just, it just all fell on the ground and shit. And it was sad. Now I have like over a hundred double-sided tape thing is on my fucking wall and this shit is tragic because look at this if I peel them off it leaves residue behind now obviously I can fix that there's ways to do that but that's gonna be a damn a day <laughs> of work okay so I got like a little hotel room here I like I have the master bedroom obviously um, it's kind of messy in here, you know, but I got some stuff, some hats, and you can tell that the echo is gone. Here are the foam panels right here. Um, 
map of Skyrim. Um, I don't know if y'all want to see the bathroom, but hey, here it is. Oh, I don't want the fan on, bitch. Here it is. Sink. All kinds of stuff, you know. Got my own bathroom. It's cool, you know. I figured I at least owed some people a little bit. Gotta turn this thing around. I don't know how to vlog, sorry. I'll probably get used to it again though. And I figured that I owed you guys some kind of explanation where I've been because I posted that short film. Let me set this down again. Let's, let's set her, set her, okay. I posted that short film and I don't know, I was in a pretty good spot. I mean, that was, I just don't think I'm going to be able to top that video. I'm not saying that the video was perfect because I still kind of want to go back and change some things. But up to that point in my channel, that was, that was the most vulnerable I've ever been. That was the most honest and open I've ever been. That video meant a lot to me for a lot of reasons. Um, kind of just, you kind of know my story now. I mean, a lot of the demons that I wrestle with and stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, it explains it in that video. And ever since then, I've just been like, can, I can't even top that. So what's the point of me posting content? Well, I found my answer over the past couple of weeks. It's because I love it. And I really miss it a lot. Um, it's weird. I'll just be watching YouTube or something. And then one of my own videos will come up as recommended, which is weird. And then I'll watch it. And I just remember editing the videos or filming the videos or the idea I had for the video and just sitting down and filming it. And I just miss that feeling a lot of enjoying it, the process. And even though most of the time the video will get 15, 20 views and it's a downer, it really is. But when I look over these past six years and I look at the plethora of different things and how I've grown and how my content is just, the quality has gotten to the point of the short film that I made. When I look at that, it just makes me want to start posting again more. And I don't have to top that video. That's another thing one of my friends told me. And uh, that's right, I don't have to top it. Maybe down the line, if I have an idea, but I miss this so much. And I have like an identity crisis, kind of. I don't really know what I wanna do anymore. I know I wanna make YouTube videos because I've been doing it since 2016 and I don't think I'm ever gonna stop doing it. It might not be as frequent, but I want to do it. And it's something that I'm never going to lose my passion for completely. I'll always have some kind of spark there. And I just got to come up with something that I want to do, you know? Like reaction videos, they're fun, you know? I mean, it's I right. The music reviews, I kind of do want to get back into that. Um, I was watching some of them the other night and they're some of my best videos if, if you actually look at it in the broader spectrum of all my other videos the way that you can kind of like dive into my brain and just know what's going on up here and I'm not saying I have the most complex mind in the world because I don't whatsoever but I love music that makes you think and I love breaking it down and I like giving my opinion on 
music as well, even if it's complete dog shit. And uh, I'm bringing that back. I'm bringing it back. It's gonna be bigger, better than ever. Um, I posted a video recently. I made it private, but I think I'll make it um, public again. Um, I was talking about the fact that I've made like five channels. And that's no bullshit. Like, I really have made five channels. Ever since 2020, I've been like more tuned in on what's going on in the world and the political side of things and stuff like that. And up until recently, that's kind of been my life. Like, I've just been drowning myself in politics and who the president is and who my governor is and that stuff is important yes but I was seeing it so much that that became my life and that it was so fucking draining just mentally draining every single time I would see something because damn near every channel I was subscribed to on YouTube was political based now I still love those guys like they opened my eyes about a lot of things but it got to the point where it was sickening like I was mentally exhausted about everything and I'm completely away from all of that stuff now I unsubscribed from literally every single channel except the Hodge twins because they make me laugh they always make me laugh and they still talk about political stuff but I don't even watch their videos really anymore but they do make me laugh if I see something that's super crazy or something I'll click on it watch it and laugh have a good time but I think I'm finally getting back to me the guy that me myself that I love and that's just me being goofy me being loving honest and real and just cool chill relaxed I'm not saying I don't care about much anymore because I care about a lot of things but I think I was caring about the wrong things I was caring about things that I can't control such as politics such as just world events stuff like that the 2020 COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic fucked me just gonna put that very lightly <laughs> fucked me like I got pretty fat um, since I last filmed a video I've lost 25 pounds I don't know if you can tell I don't know if my face looks a little skinnier or not but I'm try I was all the way up to 220 pounds now that don't sound heavy but I'm like six foot six one something like that so it didn't look bad but I would take my damn shirt off and I would just be disgusted I would feel gross like walking up steps would just fucking destroy me my stamina was horrible and I started going to the gym I set a goal for myself to hit 185 by the end of the year I'm almost there I think I need about 8 more pounds or so and after that I mean I'm still gonna go to the gym it's just something that I've fallen in love with honestly it's very relaxing to come home and then go to the gym and just anything that angered me throughout the day I take it out of the gym and I feel so much better when I come home I want to get back to doing what I love what makes me happy in the past month since I've moved into this place I've had a few dark moments but I think it was more because I was like alright I did something that I have been wanting to do for like five years now I finally moved out um, got my own place like this, this, this is my place my roommate is my sister but this is my apartment you know and I finally did it and I just came to a realization now what 
what is there really to look forward to now? And I was wrestling with that for a long time. For a good couple of weeks, I was just sitting in this room. And I think part of it was just because I was so bored. <laughs> Another part of it was just flat out depression. Just, all right, now what? What do I do now? Because I was always saying, you know, as soon as I move out, as soon as I move out, as soon as I get into my new place, as soon as I move out, everything's going to fall into place. Well, it didn't. It still hasn't. And I think I expected too much from it. But I now realize that that's up to me. It's not going to fall into place. I got to put the work in. I got to keep improving my mind every day. I got to keep improving my body every day. And it never stops. It never stops. Life, the way that I'm starting to look at it, life is all about just, it's one big long battle with yourself to try to destroy that person that you was two weeks ago, to destroy that person that you was a year ago. Not only just mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. Just become a deeper person, more intellectual person. And that's all I'm focused on now. I'm focused on becoming the best version of myself. I'm going to be extremely, extremely selfish over the next couple of years because I need to develop this, this, everything. I need to make it my own. I need to love myself again. And that circles back to making videos. I felt so good about myself when I was making videos. Back in like 20, I think, if you want me to be honest, the last time I enjoyed making videos was like 2017, I think, honestly. Like that's the last time I would run home, turn on the camera, and make a video because I was so excited. I was just full of energy. Now, obviously, I've enjoyed making videos here and there. Certain videos I'm just I'm in love with, and I'm proud that I did that and stuff. But a lot of them, they're just forced. And I didn't want to do that. After my 24 short film, documentary, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't know. Uh, after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a complete break. I'm going to move into my apartment. Like that was my main focus. I was like, I want to get into a new place, new space, clear my head, and restart. And I think I'm ready to press that restart button now. <sighs> this feels good. It feels good to turn on the camera to see you guys again. And I really missed a lot of you guys in the comments. And just making the videos whether it's reaction video or anything. Um, I think what you'll see most from me is probably just some, we'll call them tune-up videos. So that's like me getting comfortable again, you know? Very easy videos to make. So it'll probably be like reaction videos or something like that. Okay, a few. And then I'll go back to making the more creative ones. And then once I get in the flow of things, I'll post them more often. Now on my second channel, the Book of Zaymonte channel is what it is called. I'll leave it in the description. Um, that is going to be completely playthroughs and stuff like that. Videos or games that I want to play. Now The Witcher 3, um, like next gen edition comes out December 14th. I'm not playing that whole fucking game. That is 70 hours, at least, <laughs> minimum. I'm not playing that whole game. 
but I will check it out and I'll post it over there. I might post it on this channel, I'm not sure. I'll check it out, see how it runs and stuff like that. Um, but then after that, I'm not really sure as far as the games that I want to play. I think I'll go back and play older games, stuff like that. I'm pretty broke. Um, <laughs> like moving into this apartment was extremely expensive so as far as buying new games and stuff like that that's probably going to be on halt for a little bit um, but besides that I am happy to be back like I said I'm happy to see you guys again I know a lot of this was just me rambling and if you stuck through the whole thing I love you simple as that because you really care about me if you've sat through all of this stuff and you've listened. And, yeah, just let me know what you want to see from me. And I will try to get that done. And Young Jay, if you are watching this, I think you're coming out with an album soon, am I correct? So... I think I'll do a whole sit-down, in-depth review of every single song that you post. I think I can do that. Um, like I said, this, this channel is going to be a melting pot of every damn thing. It doesn't matter. Except games. Sometimes. Playthroughs will be on the Playthrough channel. Games, I'm, I'm, I'll probably still play games. But like, long sessions of playthroughs. I'm working this out in my head currently, like, at this moment. So I think I will post the Witcher video on this channel. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It'll probably be like the first two hours or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But I love you guys. And this video is barely going to be edited because I just want to get this posted and go from there. So I'll see you guys later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Stay true. I love you guys.